Hello there, it's Hello with Yama Gyan Report. This is CycloKen.com, so let's talk about what's going on in the Eastern Pacific. So over here we have Hurricane Category 1, Hurricane Daniel, and back here we have a 100% chance. It actually technically is a near 100% chance of tropical cyclone formation in the next 48 hours. So Daniel still forecasted to hit, I believe it's cold air, not cold air, cold water and stuff, and to weaken. So hopefully it won't be too big of a threat to Hawaii, but we'll keep an eye on that or something. So this would be hurricane status right here, tropical storm, tropical depression. By the way, the colors right now, since I couldn't decide on the color scheme, are being generated randomly. So by the time you see this, this might be completely differently colored or something. So yes, the 100% chance back here. So I looked it up in the spaghetti models and it sounds like the current speed of the storm system or whatever is producing like 25 knot winds, 25 knots winds. I don't know if you pluralize that or not. Right. So that would mean if that's true that when this 100% area gets upgraded to an actual storm, it would most likely become tropical depression 5E as opposed to going straight to being called tropical storm Amelia. However, if we go on over to the spaghetti models page and we go, you don't actually have to zoom there first, but if you hide, show hide this, a whole bunch of them are actually showing it reaching, these are the different models and the max intensities or whatever, showing it reaching actually, I believe, category two hurricane status. So this right here, the 100% chance is potentially future Hurricane Amelia, right there. So it's hot. It's been hot for ages, two, three months. I don't know how long it's been going on. So excessive heat warnings. This looks almost exactly the same as yesterday, it seems to. Excessive heat warnings in all of these colors. Heat advisories, more patches of excessive heat warnings. Excessive heat watch over here. Same for here. So they're going to be having their excessive heat soon. How fun for them. And then Colorado is having some flooding problems. Red flag warning here, that would be, you know, where the conditions are right or bad, depending on how you want to phrase it, for fires to spread quite easily. If you're a fire, you probably think of it in a positive light. Yeah, yeah, we get to spread out and consume everything. I have no idea. Right, so is the heat going to go away? Hopefully soon, at least for some areas. So here's today's temperature map where you can see all of this red, red back here too. And then tomorrow, similar looking, however, it's, it's still there, but it gets to yellow there, and then we've got some red there. But Monday, Monday we finally see maybe some relief, but of course that's when it starts getting really hot back in the west. And then of course Texas is probably always hot, isn't it? I don't know. Severe thunderstorm-wise today, we've got two slight risk areas with the highest of 30% chance of winds, and then we've got some mesoscale discussions and watches going on. So here are the current severe thunderstorm watches, or the current ones as of the time of the screencast. So this actually already had some storms roll through. So if you look at this, this is the mesoscale discussion number 1425. It talks about areas of new storms possible. So, they were, oh, they already did have stuff go through, but apparently the stuff back here is posing a second, a second round of threat or whatnot. And then this is a new severe thunderstorm watch. Both of these expire at 7 p.m. tonight, Eastern Daylight Time. Right, so here is the wind map. So Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey, the predominant threat today with a 30%. 15% chance there, slight risk, that's your 15%, and then 5% surrounded and such. Hail map, hail not as big as a threat today, big of a threat or whatnot. So 15%, there's your highest threat for hail, 5% back there, 5% there. Tornadoes not on the table, apparently less than 2%. So to break down the numbers, so if we pick this random point in Pennsylvania, for instance, what does the 30% mean? It means that this random point or someone within a 25 mile radius of them they have a 30% chance that they will see a severe wind event today. So nearly a one in three chance. Tomorrow, we've got another 30% area and a whole bunch of these states affected. And then the 5% area strips all the way back west. And then Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Michigan, for some reason, up there with the 5%. And then day after, day after tomorrow, we've got a slight risk for Tennessee, South Carolina, North Carolina, maybe a smidge of Virginia. And if we look at the probability map, again, we've got a day where the 5% stretches far back west. And of course, I've mentioned that because, you know, by the time day three rows around, which, is that Monday? I have no idea. I can't count. 
Anyway, these, there might be another slight risk area. Who knows? Or it might all be downgraded. Days four through eight, predictability too low, so no, well, not no. There are severe thunderstorms on the horizon, but the timing and the location not yet certain enough. See, as opposed to probability too low, that would mean there aren't severe thunderstorms predicted, but it says predictability too low. So right, severeweathertv.com is the official home of this lovely screencast. We're on the daily screencast page where you can see the old ones if you so choose to, or whatever. And it'll also show you what was the 1630 Zulu outlook you know, next to it. So if you click on another one, you get to see, I don't know, what was the, there were, that was where the slight risk were on July 3rd. How about that? So yeah, severe thunderstorm weather-wise, you can hang out at wikiwix.com, W-I-C-K-E-D-W-X.com, and get your information from Storm Prediction Center or weather.gov or weather radio if you own one. Cyclo King covers cyclones and typhoons and hurricanes around the world. C-Y-C-L-O-C-A-N-E.com. And of course, there's also National Hurricane Center and giant typhoon warning center or your regional specialized meteorological service. I think that's the acronym, RSMS, whatever it is. Hang out somewhere, stay informed, you know, get, get, get info. I don't know, procure data. That's what you do. Anyway, I hope you enjoy your wonderful weekend.